Strong winds and high water led to some flooding in Bowley's quarters. WMER 2 News' Ray Strickland spoke to some homeowners about this powerful storm. The winds were so powerful here in Bowley's quarters, it gave the water a punch that knocked off a few pieces of wood from a pier here. It also damaged a portion of the bulkhead. One homeowner here says the waves got so high you could surf on them. This is actually calm compared to what it was. Strong winds leading to powerful waves in Bowley's quarters. They were like four to five feet. High tides sending water crashing into piers and spilling over onto people's backyards. You could have actually been surfing out here. The storm flooded several streets throughout the area. Floodwaters even reached some people's homes. We put a thousand pounds of sandbags. John Burkowski's home was spared, but he says the storm gave him a scare. As the waves would hit the bulkhead and spray up in the air, the wind would take that spray and throw it all the way up to the house. That gives you an idea just of the magnitude, how strong the wind and the water was. The National Weather Service called it one of the biggest tidal flooding events in two decades. A lot of folks don't realize how rough the bay can get. And as it continues, people in Bowley's quarters are prepared for what's to come. And this area is expecting another high tide early Saturday morning. The homeowner I spoke to says they should be fine, but he says he will be sleeping with one eye open to make sure. Reporting in Bowley's quarters, I'm Ray Strickland. WMAR 2 News.